question 24 in this question use a ruler and a pair of compasses only line pr is a diagonal of a quadrilateral pqrs pr is equals to 6 cm the line is there let's go to the questions a locate vertex q of the quadrilateral pqrs such that angle rpq is equals to 60 degrees and angle prq is equals to 45 degrees complete triangle pqr and hence measure the length pq for max so let's begin with part a i will not use this line the line is not straight it is distorted due to poor scanning so allow me to just draw another line a different page uh, there's no difference that it's going to make in the solution as long as it is a line that is pr six centimeters so I've drawn the line there so the first part you're required to this is a question locate vertex q and to do that you're required to construct 60 degrees uh, angle is a 60 degrees that is angle rpq is equal 60 degrees so you're going to construct an angle of 60 degrees at p so we begin with that so to construct 60 degrees take your pair of compasses and stand stand at stand at p that is why you want to construct 60 degrees so open a pair of compass in the radius convenient radius then mark a big arc like that then with the same same radius without changing anything stand at this point where the arc cuts line pq and cut that up that is how you construct 60 degrees then join p join p using a straight line from point p to the point of intersection of the arcs so join that let me join this one properly so join p the point of intersection of the two arcs like that using a straight line so that angle is 60 degrees the other question or the other part you're supposed to construct this angle prq to be 45 degrees so that means you're constructing an angle of 45 at r an angle of 45 at r so how do you construct an angle of 45 at r so i will extend this line so allow me to extend this line or so extend line pr let me extend it like that and then to construct an angle of 45 at r i'll begin by constructing an angle of 90 degrees then i bisect it to get 45 so let me start by constructing an angle of 90, 90 degrees so to construct an angle of 90 degrees at r stand at r then open any convenient uh, radius any convenient radius then with that radius mark an arc here one arc there then on the other side mark an arc then from there now you can change your radius and change your radius and then stand on one of these arcs that you've made under that point then i will mark big arc there with the same same radius without changing it stand on the other arc and cut that arc that will be 90 degrees you can join uh, this point here that that is 90 degrees so that is 90 degrees and since you require a 45 so you have 90 degrees here so you have 90 degrees here and 90 degrees here so the angle on the left that is 90 degrees on the left you can bisect that to get 45 divide it by 2 and to do that to bisect that angle pick your pair of compasses and then stand at r stand at r then mark an arc in a radius mark an arc there and another arc there then now you can change your radius once you've done that and change your radius stand on one of the arcs that you've made and mark an arc there then with the same same radius without changing it then there and cut that arc you're bisecting it then from there using a straight line join r the point of intersection of those arcs like that and you have bisected that so now this angle is 45 degrees and this one is 45 degrees the question you're supposed to locate the vertex q the vertex q so now we have q uh, look at the point of intersection of the line from p and the line from r so q is here this is where we have q q is the that point there so you can label that so that is q and you are required to measure complete triangle pqr we do that Have we done that yes pqr is there and measure the length pq 
So let me get the measurement of PQ. Measurement PQ is uh, 4 point. Or you can see it there. That measurement is 4.4. So you can read it here. It is here 4.4. So we've done that. So that is 4.4. Uh, so PQ, write it here. So PQ is equals to 4.4 centimeters. Let's go to part B. Diagonal QS, which is 10 centimeters long intersects with the diagonal PR at right angle. Complete the quadrilateral PQRS. QS, QS, you don't know where S is. QS, that is a diagonal, and it, it intersects with the diagonal PR, PR at 90 degrees, at right angle. So what we mean simply is we are required to drop a perpendicular a line from q that is 10 centimeters long that will meet pr at 90 degrees in simple terms you require to drop a perpendicular from q to meet pr at 90 degrees so how do you do that you simply take your pair of compass and stand at q stand at q and then ensure that you mark two arcs Ensure that you mark two arcs standing at Q. So standing at Q, mark two arcs on line PR. You must ensure you do that. So let me check whether I'm able to do that. So mark two arcs. So you can as well extend. If you find you are not able to mark the arcs correctly, you can always extend line PR. You can extend it. You can extend it like that. So with that now, I want to mark two arcs. Even if it is on the line PR extended, is okay. So I'll mark the first arc here, ending at Q, one arc there, and then another arc there. Then from there, you stand on one of the arcs that you've made, like that. Then you can adjust the radius. And standing on one of the arcs, you mark an arc like that. Then with the same same radius without changing it, stand on the other arc there. Then cut that arc, cut that, that arc like that. So after making the arcs from Q, join Q to the point of intersection of those arcs using a straight line like that. Now this line meets PR at 90 degrees. That line should be 10 centimeters long. So to ensure I'll be measure using my pair of compass here. The line is supposed to be 10 centimeters long. Yes, 10 centimeters is there. So mark that is 10 centimeters. So therefore Q S S should be here. This point here. That one is supposed to be 10 centimeters. Now we have QS. Then from there, complete the quadrilateral PQRS. PQRS. So to do that, you simply uh, join on a straight line. So from P, join P to S, and then using a straight line, then R to R to S. Simple as that. Now you have the complete quadrilateral PQRS, and QS is 10 centimeters. So we are done with with that. The last one is calculate the area of quadrilateral PQRS. How do we get the area? This quadrilateral is divided into two shapes, two triangles. So you can get the area of triangle, the area of triangle PQR plus the area of triangle PRS. That will give you the answer. So let's begin by getting the area of triangle P. RQ, PRQ. So to get the area, I just look at that triangle. You have an angle of 60. Uh, we have PQ. We got PQ as 4.4. PQ is 4.4. And we have uh, side PR, which is 6. So we can use this formula. So area of triangle PRQ. So we can get this one by a half. A, B, sin theta. I have A, B, sin theta. Where we have, this one is a half, multiply by A being 4.4, B being 6. Those are the sides between the angle given angle. 
then times sine of 60 degrees. So let us work out that. So 4.4 multiply by 6 multiply by sine of 60. That will give 32.2. Then you divide by 2. You get 11.43. 11 11.43 centimeters squared. Now let us get the area of triangle PRS. PRS. For PRS, we don't have any angle. But we have the base. We can use PR as the base, which is 6. So we can use this as the base. And then the height, we use this one as the height. So we take this measurement and take that measurement. So this measurement here, we can call this point. We can mark this point as uh, M. So this height from MS. So let me get MS. Take that measurement, MS. So MS is 6.2. MS is 6.2. So this is a 6.2, 6.2 centimeters. And then the base, taking the base as PR. So area of that triangle will be given by a half times the base, which is a PR, which is 6, times the height, MS, which is 6.2. Working out this, we get, we get 18.6. So this will give 18.6 centimeter squared so now we have the areas of the two the area of the two triangles therefore the area now of the quadrilateral uh, p q r s will be given by area of triangle p r q which is 11.43 centimeter squared plus 18.6 centimeter squared so add the two this will give 30.03 30.03 Zero three centimeters squared, and that is how we're supposed to solve that question.